Well, hello, hello, and good morning, good morning. This is Dr. Yonette with another episode of Baby Talk. And of course, of course, it's Saturday morning. It's nice and sunny outside, a little chilly though. But you know, since it's Saturday, it's time for our read time with baby. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, such a precious time. And I know some of your babies are turning 10 months and 11 months and 12 months old and just growing. I see a baby walking last week. Oh my gosh, it was so precious. He started walking and toppled over and he got up and kept going. Such great lessons in how our children grow and develop. I still remember when my son first walked. We were in Michigan at my brother's house and he was about nine months old old, and he just got up and he started going and going and he never looked back. So as your baby develop those milestones um, that you are expecting, the motor milestones, I want you to make sure that they are also developing those cognitive milestones get the brain working, get those neuronal connections going. And before we start reading this morning, I wanted to share with you one tip, one strategy that you can start using to help your baby read. You know, reading is so fundamental. And one of the great ways you can help your baby become reading ready is to expose him to or her to songs and um, nursery rhymes and finger plays that would help him or her hear words in the songs. And then one more tip before I go, I'm so excited about sharing these tips, is that you can start labeling things around your house. Put a label on the stove, on the fridge, on, on a shoe, Put it all over so that your child can see it and make that association with the word and the object. So reading, reading is so fun. And I know you have been reading a lot. Let's read about in the small pond. In the small pond, as it warms up, there's gonna be lots of life and activities happening outside in the pond. So get your child out there exploring the world and seeing what nature brings. Let's see what this book says by Denise Fleming. In the small, small pond. All right, let's keep turning. In the small, small pond, of course, we started by opening the cover of the book and now we are inside with lots of green and yellow and white. And I bet there's going to be lots of colors throughout this book. Let's see what it says. In the small, small pond. Hmm. What are those? Looks like legs to me. What kind of legs are those? Whose legs? In the small, small pond, wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles, wiggle tadpoles that are going to grow into frogs tadpoles you're going to see lots of tadpoles in ponds tadpoles wiggle okay here we go waddle wade geese parade see the goose and all the geese parading with him or her Hover, shiver, wings, quiver. Whose wings are these? Who do those wings belong to? Dows, those eyes close. Lash, launch, herons, plunge. A heron, a heron is a bird. Splitter, splatter, minyows, scatter. What are minyows? Can we find out? What are they? Let's 
let's look in our picture and see what you think they are. Circle, swirl, whirlings, twirl. Sweep, soup, swallows, scoop. There's another bird. Click, clack, claws, crack. Hmm. Whose claws are those? Is that a lobster? Double, dip, tails, flip. This is all happening in the, in the pond. Splash, splish, splash, pause, flash. Pile, pack, must, musk, rats, stack. Chill breeze, winter freeze. <laughs> it's not winter now, it's spring. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. The end. Did you like this book? Yes. Like I said earlier, there were lots of rhyme, rhyming that make reading exciting and fun and happy now i would love to hear from you why not share with me the books that your child has been reading the books that make him or her come alive and bring excitement and joy share your rhymes share your abc books share your number books share your body part books share share books about the world and culture you know join my facebook page skincare explosion with dr yonet and share those exciting exciting experiences that you are having with your baby share your baby pictures share your reading treasures and remember moms and dads you need to be reading as well stop what you're doing and read have your entire house read it together for of course for baby you're going to have to read to him or her but expose him to letters and numbers and text in all forms and fashion so thank you so so much for joining me this morning for our read time i hope it was a wonderful experience for you and baby and I look forward to hearing from you and having you join me next Saturday morning as we do read time with baby together.